Every canvas is a journey all its own. Helen Frankenthaler Art has always captivated humanity, stirring emotions and sparking conversations. In the realm of paintings, some masterpieces have garnered staggering prices, becoming the pride of collectors and museums alike. Let's take a journey through the top seven most expensive paintings, exploring their history, artists, prices, owners, and the captivating art they display. Number 1. Silvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci Silvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci is a remarkable painting that has captured the attention of art enthusiasts around the world. This masterpiece depicts Jesus Christ in a Renaissance style, holding a crystal orb in one hand while raising the other in blessing. Leonardo da Vinci, a genius artist and inventor, created this artwork around the late 15th century. The painting went through several owners over the centuries, but its true value and significance were not fully recognized until recent times. In 2017, Silvatore Mundi made history by selling for an astonishing $450 million, making it the most expensive painting ever sold at auction. The buyer's identity remains a mystery, but it is believed to be a Middle Eastern prince. The painting's extraordinary price reflects its rarity, historical importance, and the skill of da Vinci himself. The artistry of Silvatore Mundi is breathtaking. The delicate brushstrokes, realistic details, and the mesmerizing gaze of Jesus draw viewers into a world of contemplation and spirituality. The crystal orb symbolizes the earth and represents Jesus as the savior of the world. This painting is a testament to Leonardo da Vinci's unparalleled talent and his ability to capture the essence of his subjects. It serves as a reminder of the enduring power of art to transcend time and touch the hearts and souls of those who behold it. Silvatore Mundi continues to inspire awe among art lovers, showcasing the timeless beauty and significance of da Vinci's work. Number 2. Interchange by Willem de Kooning Interchange by Willem de Kooning is a captivating painting that takes us on a visual journey through vibrant colors and abstract forms. Created by de Kooning, a renowned artist associated with the Abstract Expressionist movement, this artwork is a testament to his innovative style and creative vision. The history of Interchange dates back to the mid-1950s when de Kooning painted it. The painting showcases his unique approach to art, where he used bold brushstrokes and vivid colors to express emotions and ideas rather than represent objects or figures. In a private sale, Interchange was sold for a staggering price of $300 million, making it one of the most expensive paintings ever sold. The owner of this masterpiece is Kenneth C. Griffin, an American hedge fund manager and art collector who recognizes the significance and influence of de Kooning's work. The artistry of interchange lies in its abstract nature. The painting is a symphony of swirling colors, dynamic lines, and intricate textures, inviting viewers to interpret and connect with the artwork on a personal level. It evokes a sense of energy, movement, and emotion, making it a captivating piece to behold. Interchange represents the artist's exploration of the subconscious and the freedom of expression. It challenges traditional notions of representation and invites viewers to embrace the beauty of abstraction. Through its vibrant palette and energetic composition, Interchange continues to inspire and engage art enthusiasts, serving as a testament to de Kooning's lasting impact on the art world. Indulge in a world of luxury experiences and stay informed by subscribing to Bite of Luxury and turning on the notification bell to join our community. Also let us know in the comment section if you have already seen any of these paintings in a museum. Number 3. The Card Players by Paul Cezanne The Card Players by Paul Cezanne is a mesmerizing painting that presents a glimpse into the world of everyday life and human connections. Created by Cezanne, a renowned French post-impressionist artist, this artwork captures the essence of a card game among peasants. Cezanne painted a series of the card players during the 1890s, each depicting different scenes and characters. These paintings showcase his meticulous attention to detail and his ability to capture the human spirit in stillness. 
While the exact price of the card players remains undisclosed, it is considered one of the most valuable artworks in the world. The painting is owned by the royal family of Qatar, who recognized its historical and artistic significance. The card players offers a glimpse into a moment of intense focus and concentration as the peasants engage in their game. The figures are rendered in earthy tones, with each brushstroke revealing the artist's dedication to capturing the nuances of light and form. Cezanne's painting style emphasizes geometric shapes and planes, giving the artwork a sense of solidity and structure. The figures and objects appear almost sculptural, creating a harmonious composition that draws viewers into the scene. Number 4. Nathia F.A.A. Apoipo by Paul Gauguin Nathia F.A.A. Apoipo by Paul Gauguin is a captivating painting that transports us to the enchanting world of Tahitian women. Created by Gauguin, a renowned French post-impressionist artist, this artwork captures the beauty and allure of the South Pacific. Gauguin painted Nathia F.A.A. Apoipo in 1892 during his stay in Tahiti. The title translates to When Will You Marry? and the painting depicts two Tahitian women in traditional attire against a lush tropical backdrop. In 2015, Nafia F.A.A. Apoipo was sold for a remarkable price of $210 million, making it one of the most expensive paintings ever sold. The buyer is a Qatari museum, recognizing the historical and cultural significance of Gauguin's work. The artistry of Nafia F.A.A. Apoipo lies in its vibrant colors and the juxtaposition of the figures against the lush surroundings. Gauguin's use of bold brushstrokes and simplified forms creates a sense of harmony and exoticism. The painting invites viewers to immerse themselves in the beauty and rich cultural heritage of Tahiti. The figures exude a sense of tranquility and mystery, captivating observers with their serene expressions and traditional adornments. Nafia F.A.A. Apoipo reflects Gauguin's fascination with non-Western cultures and his desire to capture the essence of an untouched paradise. It embodies his quest for a simpler, more authentic way of life, free from the constraints of Western society. Number 5. Number 17A by Jackson Pollock. Number 17A by Jackson Pollock is an extraordinary painting that takes us on a journey of abstract expressionism and artistic freedom. Created by Pollock, a renowned American artist, this artwork is a testament to his unique style and innovative approach to art. Pollock painted No. 17A in 1948, during the peak of his career. This painting is a remarkable example of his famous drip technique, where he would pour, splatter, and drip paint onto the canvas, creating intricate patterns and textures. The painting was sold for $200 million in a private deal. The owner recognizes the significance and impact of Pollock's work, valuing the energy and emotion that the painting exudes. The artistry of No. 17A lies in its chaotic yet harmonious composition. The web of drips, splatters, and lines creates a sense of movement and rhythm, inviting viewers to explore the depths of the artwork. Each splash and stroke of paint holds a unique energy, revealing the artist's emotions and his spontaneous creative process. Number 17A is a visual symphony where colors and forms intertwine, conjuring different interpretations and emotions in each viewer. It challenges traditional notions of representation and invites us to experience art on an instinctive and visceral level. Number 6. Number 6 by Mark Rothko. Number 6, Violet, Green and Red, by Mark Rothko is a captivating painting that invites us into a world of color, emotion, and contemplation. Created by Rothko, a prominent American abstract expressionist artist, this artwork is a testament to his unique style and his exploration of the spiritual and emotional power of color. Rothko painted Number 6 in 1951, during a period where he began to focus on large-scale, color-field paintings. This particular piece is a stunning example of his signature style, featuring rectangular blocks of vibrant violet, green, and red hues. While the price of number 6 remains undisclosed, it is known that the painting is privately owned. The owner recognizes the significance and impact of Rothko's work, valuing the depth and intensity of emotions that the painting evokes. 
The artistry of number six lies in its simplicity and the interplay of colors. Rothko's intention was to create an immersive experience for viewers, allowing them to lose themselves in the hues and contemplate their own emotional responses. The painting invites us to reflect on the power of color to elicit emotions and create a sense of inner calm or introspection. The blocks of color seem to vibrate and pulsate, capturing our attention and drawing us into a meditative state. Number 7. Portrait of Adele Blockbauer 2 inch by Gustav Klimt. Portrait of Adele Blockbauer 2 by Gustav Klimt is a captivating painting that showcases the beauty and elegance of Adele Blockbauer, a prominent Viennese socialite. Created by Klimt, an Austrian symbolist painter, this artwork is a masterpiece of his golden period. Klimt painted Portrait of Adele Blockbauer 2 in 1912 as a commissioned portrait of Adele. The painting highlights Klimt's iconic style, characterized by intricate patterns, golden hues, and decorative elements. The history of this painting is quite fascinating. It was one of two portraits Klimt painted of Adele, and it remained in the Blockbauer family for many years. However, due to political events during World War II, the artwork was confiscated by the Nazis. In 2006, after a lengthy legal battle, the painting was returned to the rightful heirs of Adele Blockbauer. It was later sold to Ronald Lauder, the founder of the Neue Gallery in New York City, for a staggering price of $135 million. Portrait of Adele Blockbauer II is a mesmerizing portrayal of Adele, capturing her poise and grace. Klimt's use of ornamental details and his signature gold leaf technique adds a sense of opulence and luxury to the painting. The artwork is a stunning combination of realism and symbolism as Klimt infuses the portrait with his unique artistic vision. The viewer is drawn into the intricate patterns and textures, while Adele's enigmatic gaze invites contemplation. Through this masterpiece, Klimt immortalizes Adele Blockbauer, capturing her beauty and the spirit of the time. Portrait of Adele Blockbauer II continues to captivate art enthusiasts, serving as a testament to Klimt's mastery and the enduring allure of his golden period. These top seven most expensive paintings not only hold immense value in terms of price, but also serve as windows into the minds and souls of the artists who created them. Each artwork tells a unique story, evoking emotions and inspiring awe. Whether in the hands of private collectors or displayed in prestigious museums, these masterpieces continue to captivate audiences worldwide, reminding us of the timeless power of art. As we conclude this tantalizing journey into the world of luxury experiences, we invite you to become a valued member of our exclusive community by subscribing to Bite of Luxury. By doing so, you ensure that you never miss out on the latest captivating content that will transport you to the most exquisite destinations and immerse you in the finest indulgences. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment to share your thoughts and engage with our passionate community. And for the ultimate luxury experience, be sure to turn on the notification bell, so you're always in the know. Subscribe now, and let us continue to elevate your senses with the epitome of opulence and refinement. Take care and see you next week.